Hey guys, Good Marks Goods here, and today I just want to talk about my month a little bit. Uh, May. How May went for me, and just a couple thoughts on the channel and how I'm progressing. And, you know, it's it's been a good month for me. Not too shabby. Um, I might have actually eked out a profit this month on, on the plate because I had two successful auctions this uh, that month. The first one was the railroad pieces that I made videos about before I made a video when I first found them. And then I made a video um, discussing that they were about to go into auction. And on rauctions.com, I actually have the check right here and it's good for uh, 278 bucks. So the deal was 80% uh, would be going to me, and the uh, the pieces sold for a total of three hundred fifty dollars. Not too shabby, although although eighty percent of is two hundred eighty, not two hundred seventy eight. But what um, what's two dollars between friends, right? So that was pretty nice to uh, have gotten that kind of victory, and I even found uh, additional railroad pieces from another another lot on Goodwill and I sent them over as well. They're going to go into auction on I believe August or yeah, I think it's August is in their next one, the next big one and I expect that one that auction to do even better than the than this one. So, very nice and then I had also had gotten a um, I sent these Jugs. They were silver-plated jugs made by I Art Krupp Berndorf. Art Krupp Berndorf. They were Austrian. Okay, Austrian silver plate. And what what made them special was it on on um, each piece was uh, engraved Doctor Hartingen. Now I made a short about finding that before a while back. It. It was uh, one of my earlier shorts that I put on the channel. I don't do very many shorts, but decided to, to release that one as a short and uh, mm, didn't do very well. But regardless, the uh, the pieces themselves did very well. They were um, sold in Britain under the name Flint's Auctions, and they went for, I can't remember, 375 Pounds. You, th this is. I think it was three hundred seventy-five British pounds, or maybe it was three hundred fifty. But, but regardless, the the cool thing is that well, pounds are worth more than dollars. So they did even better than the ro railroad pieces, and I'll be expecting their payment pretty soon. Uh, it was special because Dr. Hardingen was a very was an early. A doctor and he had a what they call a sanatorium. Now a sanatorium is somewhere where um, they would take care of old well I don't think they took care of old people what they did was take care of um, sick people sickly people with long-term disabilities maybe back then you would have had syphilis or or polio or maybe cancer or something like that and yeah, this would be a place where people could get care and they would treat them. Now, I think that he was uh, known for um, starting something called grape therapy. I didn't really look into what that was exactly. Maybe it was kind of like an old diet where you would drink a lot of grape juice. I shouldn't. Maybe it was grape oil. I, I know what. I shouldn't even talk out my ass, but he was known for grape therapy, if anybody wants to look him up, um, go ahead and get yourself a history lesson, but yeah, they did very well because it was a historic piece, I don't find very many historic pieces, but very nice to find, I also have some very cool pieces coming in, I will, um, I will post about on the channel, I'm especially excited, and tomorrow I'll be receiving a samovar which um, is made in the Reed and Barton pattern, the Reed and Barton pattern of uh, Winthrop. There, sorry, the Winthrop. You you know the Winthrop from the 
the finials that have a little they're they're like little pumpkins in and the pattern was named for somebody named John Winthrop or something. He was a, an early colonist or I don't know. Again, I don't really do much research into the name or why they named these patterns. I just, I don't have the time. I, I focus on the pattern and why it's va and whether it's valuable or not. But someday uh, when I'm bored, I might look into more research into why, why a pattern is the Winthrop and why they named something Gross Venor and and you've got yeah Oneida's got a Oneida has some patterns that named after people uh, well a lot of silver play patterns are named after people I find a lot of Sir Christopher or Christopher Wren those are very valuable patterns that were made by I believe Reed and Barton as well I don't know why they're valuable, I just know that they are and I know how to identify them. So, yeah, very happy to find that Samovar. I paid about $180 for that box. It came with two other pieces that aren't exactly slouches. They're no lo nowhere near as valuable as the Samovar. But I think that the Samovar is worth $400 to $500. So there should be profit there. I can't wait to, to look at it and, oh, I'll be making a video about it, but, um, yeah, and then a couple decent sales I made, uh, were, were a plate, based on plate, and I sold a, a pretty nice flatware set in the Oneida, oh no, it was, yeah, it was 1881 Rogers Oneida, and the pattern was King James. I made a video about that as well, the King James flatware went for $190. The uh, buyer was very happy to receive them. They'll be going to, to uh, I think they said a their niece for a wedding gift. So it's kind of nice to see my things uh, going to two people and they, they tell me that yeah they will appreciate them and that's exactly what I want to see and I get a bit of a bit of a a nice payout as well when I find nice things like that. Oh, and another thing I sold was a quadruple plated candle holder. It was a fancy, fancy candle holder with the, the arms that go out like that. And, and it was made by, I think, Reed and Barton as well. See, so you got a pattern here, guys. Reed and Barton is a very, very prestigious maker. They made a lot of things that aren't valuable, but they made a lot of things that are valuable. And that pattern, that, that uh, candle holder, uh, I can't remember the right name, Eperna, I, I called it an E-P-E-R-N-G-N-E, -E, Eperna, you could also call it a centerpiece if you wanted to. I don't think you use the word centerpiece for a candle holder, but regardless. That went for almost 300 bucks, 280. So you take those those wins, and then I, you know, I have little hits there and there, 20 bucks, 30 bucks, 80 dollars, and a couple pieces of, in like a set of 50 pieces of flatware or whatever, and it added up to a pretty decent month. Normally, I don't have good months this month this good, so I I'm very proud about that. Just slowly inching towards profitability now, and then, but all that hard work just went towards repairing my car this month. <laughs> so all of that and more and some, I had to to pay to uh, re repair my car. They charged me tw more than a thousand dollars to um, to fix the ignition lock cylinder, and then they did did a little bit of diagnostics, check my engine light. Man, it's nuts. You know, I was just thinking like, that's almost 40 ounces. Yeah, 40 ounces of silver, guys. Damn, what kind of insanity is, this? you know, when, when silver was real money, maybe it will, maybe a, an ounce of silver would have went to a technician or a professional as wages. 
So I should have only paid for one ounce of silver for the for the technician's labor, and then maybe like two ounces for the parts. Parts. So I should have only spent three ounces of silver. That's the real value of of the the labor and the, and the parts, in my opinion. And one day I might see that day again. Who knows what the future may bring? But yeah, I felt robbed, especially when I consider silver to be money and dollars to not be money. But anyway, regardless of that, uh, yeah, it's been a great, great month. And unfortunately, I did did get a job. I started started a new job about two weeks ago. It's going okay. I'm not exactly thrilled to to do it, but unfortunately my my direction is not towards profit in dollar terms. What I want is silver plate and I want to own a lot of silver plate because one day I do believe that silver plate will be much work much more valuable. So that mindset is setting me up for the future but it, it's not setting me up for success today. Like I'm not making enough in terms of dollars to support myself with my channel. Well, I haven't made a cent off my channel. But thank you, you 90 subscribers that have been watching me. I watch, I watch my success, and it's been very slow. You know, there were days when I would watch an entire day and only two people, two views, my the entire day and I was like, well, well, this is sucky. But I kept up and hopefully I keep getting better at pacing and pacing videos and editing and, and being able to give you guys more information about what I'm learning so you guys can enjoy and stick around. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Fortunately, I don't have a lot of time to, to devote to the channel or especially when I have to juggle with um, packaging boxes, uh, looking up, looking through my silver plate, and then sometimes I have to eat and sleep. I am incredibly busy. So, uh, yeah, one day I'll, I will be able to do this full time, hopefully, but that day is not today because, yeah. If I wanted to just make a dollar profit, my my strategy would be a lot different. Instead, if I buy, say I buy 100 pounds of silver plate, okay? I expect a breakdown of around, okay, so I spend $300 on 100 pounds of silver plate, okay? Here's where I'm going after. I'm going after the pick. Now, the pick is the piece that that brings dollar profit to the box. Usually there is one. So if I see something that I know can retail for $100 and I buy it for $20, then that's the pick. Okay, usually I'm only trying to break even or, or even less. But then the rest of the box is silver plate that I'm, that I'm going to be storing for the future maybe I'll list it later because it's less valuable there it's not going to sell as fast but there might be a little bit of profit or or and this is more likely I'm holding on to it until the day where silver plate becomes valuable silver becomes valuable enough that the silver on the silver plate will be worth extracting via chemical processes that day may come, maybe when I'm dead, I don't know, or it may come tomorrow. I, you don't know what, what's going to happen with the price of silver. There are many reasons why I would say that, but um, I'm not a macroeconomic channel, and I'm not a silver forecasting channel. But know that I think that silver will go up in value, where the one and 1% to 1.5% yield on silver plate will become economically viable to extract. And then there's usually some sterling in the box too that I'm 
either going to sell in order to fund more silver plate purchases or I'm going to um, keep because I do think that silver is a great investment right now. And I also think that the Victor Saglier piece that I um, recently made a video about as well, it is a, a seafood dish. I think that will do very well, very good as well. I originally wanted to send it off to a European auction house, but instead I'm just going to put it on eBay and hope for the best because, well, I don't really want to deal with an unknown auction house again. So it's a little bit nerve-wracking because I don't know how well it will do, especially if if you just don't get any any interested buyers. Uh, you can take a real blood. You can get a real bloodbath because people might. I just assume that plate is worthless, and that happens a lot. But this is a a, a very valuable piece by a a French artist. Yeah, Victor Suglier was was known for pottery as well as silver pl silver and silver plate, which is quite uh, very rare and unusual, honestly. So ceramists or or pottery makers don't usually go into silver and silver plate and vice versa, but the guy had loved two different media mediums, I guess, and his art uh, does well. So. Yeah, I'm going to throw it on onto eBay for $780 and see what happens. If it doesn't get any hits for like a year or two, then I'll slowly drop the price down by like $50 and let it sit for another six months or so, maybe a year. If it still doesn't sell, we we'll drop it down by 50 bucks. I like that kind of method because I'm not at all in a rush to uh, achieve profit usually. I'm usually not in a rush to achieve profit especially for something that I know was valuable. So yeah, De definitely good stuff and it was a good month.